five years ago, TV entertainment was just getting off the ground. I'm Joyce Kohaywick, and when WBZ went on the air, most of what viewers saw was from our network, NBC. It took a while for local shows to find their legs. And in the meantime, some of the biggest stars of the stage, screen, and radio were lining up to get in front of the TV cameras. And every family that had a TV set couldn't wait to get home to watch it. In 1948, 50,000 New England families bought their first television set. The screen was a little small and the price was a little high, but that didn't stop New England's love affair with television. Introducing America's number one television star, your Easter present, Milton Berle! Everyone wanted to see Uncle Milty live from New York and to see their own friends and neighbors live from our studios on community auditions, which ran for the next several decades. By the mid-1950s, WBZ-TV had become the entertainment center of New England. The showpiece was Swan Boat, New England's first live morning variety show hosted by Nelson Bragg. Swan Boat had something for everyone. Open up the dog house. Open up the dog house. Over, over, move it over. Just about every star who visited Boston visited Swan Boat. Yeah. I'll just walk over there. Uh, yeah. Can I have my introduction now, please? <laughs> Swan Boat. They want to get a guy crazy. Send him a telegram saying, ignore first wire. And let's start things off with our howdy doody song, Let's Go, Ken! Hey, uh... In the 50s, NBC introduced some classic programs for children, and so did WBZ-TV. Radio personality Carl DeSouce hosted Carl's Surprise Package, New England's first live children's show. Another radio personality, Eileen Neeland, had her own ideas. I sat up all night doing a script, and I mailed it to TV4. 24 hours later, it was back again. Not visual enough. Well, that was when I called Ted Miller. He was a cartoonist. And uh, I decided that I'd call him the Crayon Man. Say, mister, I've got an idea. My dad told me once, if I knew something that was news, I should take it to the newspapers. Go right ahead, Sonny. But I don't think it'll do any good. Well, five minutes later, Sam was at the city desk. And the next day, he himself was calling the headlines. The show was called The Lady of the Bookshelf. Kids loved it, and so did the critics. In 1952, WBZ-TV introduced the small fry of New England to a giant in children's programming, Bob Emery, better known as Big Brother. His work with the Jimmy Fund raised thousands of dollars. He also got thousands of kids to salute the flag and drink milk. It seems to me that it's a natural way to get the children to drink milk on the air as an example to children at home. And how to do it? toast to the president. So I had a picture of uh, each president in, as he came along, and uh, I drank a lot of milk. They drank a lot of milk. And I have all kinds of comments about whether I drank milk or not, but I did, so there. In 1956, a rodeo star named Rex Trailer rode into town. I called some of my friends in the Boston area and they said there had been other attempts to have Western shows in the area, and they just didn't go. So I said, well, I'd come up and give it a try, and everybody said, well, you'll be lucky if it lasts six months and a year at the most. However, as it turns out, we were on the air for 18 years on Channel 4. Boomtown's greatest innovation came from its need for more room than a studio could provide. So Boomtown moved outdoors to a special set behind WBZ-TV. It was like a movie lot of MGM or uh, 20th Century Fox, looked like uh, an actual western town, had a general store, uh, the Boomtown Opera House, a hotel, Boomtown Hotel, balcony and all. Uh, we had a barn in which we stabled Gold Rush, my horse, 
and it worked out beautifully. In the early years of television, programs were all done live from beginning to end, and that included the commercial. Your magic wand? Why, of course. It's Mother's Egg Beater. And boys and girls, there's extra fun in every package of Amazo now. A magic treat card, which you can do. Over the years, though, the commercials got more sophisticated. It's an easy day when you clean with an easy day, Mom. Vacuum action! Leave your breath clean. There's no unsanitary glass, no bottle, no breakage. The home of great ice cream is Howard Johnson. Now have Howard Johnson great ice cream at home. By the time the 60s rolled around, the network was offering more innovative programming than variety shows and movies. Hello. The new tonight, starring Jack Paul.